In the new film The Happening, neurotoxins released by ordinary plants are the source of a plague of grisly suicides. While researching plants for the film, director M. Night Shyamalan was intrigued by what he uncovered. All the things in nature and all the things that I learned about neurotoxins and plants and how they behave and how they communicate with each other, it's fascinating. It's one organism. And while his ecological nightmare is fiction, it's no secret to scientists that plants do wage chemical warfare. Lewis Nelson is a medical toxicologist and co-author of the Handbook of Poisonous and Injurious Plants. He recalls a case in the South Pacific where the toxic cycad plant was being eaten by bats known as flying foxes. And the, the cycad toxin was building up in the flying foxes. The people were eating the flying foxes and getting this terrible neuro neurotoxic syndrome. He says the people ended up with what seemed like Lou Gehrig's disease. However, extreme cases like that are rare, and most of us know to watch out for wild species like poison ivy and poison oak. But just when you thought it was safe to go back in the garden, horticulturist Jody Payne notes that many backyard plants are toxic. Any part of this plant is poisonous, so you want to stay away from it. You don't want to ingest it. Simply touching the common nettle can cause blistering and swelling. Ingesting a foxglove can be deadly. And Payne says you should never burn poisonous plants because inhaling the smoke can be toxic. Learning about your plants is important and uh, making sure that your children um, are aware that they shouldn't put anything in their mouth. And when all else fails, there's always plan B. Run. I'm Brad Closing.